What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King, aka first name Rage, last name is him. Back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, actually, if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rebel Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all. We gotta talk about this collectively as fans of Mortal Kombat or what used to be known as Mortal Kombat. I don't know what the hell they doing now with that 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 fighting game now that if you can even call it that. That 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 random cesspool of code that they call Mortal Kombat 1 which don't even feel or even look like Mortal Kombat any damn more. It looks like the shell of the shell of the shell that was once Mortal Kombat. We got to talk about one thing that I think even the shields, even the people that are just diehard defenders and the chorizo riders and the corn eating the, you know, the corn on the cob, the long way eating motherfuckers that want to defend NetherRealm Studios to the very end. Even they would even possibly agree on this. What is Rage King referring to? Allow Rage King to show you what's up. Yes, yeah, sir. As you see right here on your screen, ain't no optical illusion, ain't no black magic, ain't no Photoshop. This is the real deal, holy feel, and real spill. Get wrecked, yo. Uh, online tournament player, man, very talented player in his own right. He dropped a tweet that I, to be honest with you, I could not agree with anymore because he hit the nail right on the head. And again, even even the defenders of Netherrealm, you know, the, the, the never-ending... You know, Teresa Eaters of NetherRealm Studios, even they would even say, oh, well, you know what? I can kind of see where you're coming from with this. His tweet reads, NRS slash WB aren't even trying to make a game that people actually want to play, it feels like. Laugh my ass off. They just got the early sales and dipped. Shit is coming soon for eternity. The coming soon, no pun intended, uh, no diddy. Uh, is directly referring to, you guessed it, warrior sh things like the Warrior Shrine. Still waiting on a true Wi-Fi filter. Still waiting to have lobbies and online rooms and online practice. You know, things that a next generation 2024 game should be released with. And this game is approaching a year after release. And we still ain't got it. But I guarantee to you, if that ever was to happen, they're going to try to sell it to you for 40 to 60 bucks and then say, yeah, go ahead and buy what you should already have. That's some bullshit. The shady business practices of NetherRealm Studios and WB now, I think it's a combination and he hit it right on the head with that too. I think WB is the one that's telling them to, are the ones setting the price tags, but NetherRealm Studios are the ones that are simply not giving us what we should already have. It's a con In this situation, it's a combination of both. It is a combination of both. Because you have a studio who simply doesn't know what should be in the game, and you have a developer that's funding them that is telling them, you know, hey, make it this expensive, we're going to make it this expensive for this. You understand what I'm saying? Now I can get mad at WB for having ten dollar voices again. Yeah, that's yeah, that's WB. Yeah, y'all 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 some hoes for that, definitely. But in terms of the gameplay and enjoyment and the replayability of the game, that's all Nether Realm Studios, baby. That's all Nether Realm Studios. This game, the prices of this game are outlandish, right? And people have the right to be pissed about it, right? But the whole thing in a nutshell is the game itself is not worth the price tag. The price tag can be what it is. But if this game was actually fun, if this game actually was fun to watch, fun to play, and you just it was just addicting, you can't get off of it, you can't stop playing it unless you're getting a financial gain out of it or you're trying to make content out of it, there's really no point in playing this game. It, it just isn't. Now, I've never seen NRS in the past two games fumble so hard than what they have with their past two games. I'm talking about was that the two y'all y'all fumbled harder than the Seattle Seahawks not running the not running the ball in the Super Bowl. Like yo, you were right there. You were right there, and then you just did the opposite. 
You had the formula right in your hands, and then you just, no, here you go. We don't want it. I will never understand it. I will never understand it. This game should not be in the state that it's in. This game is way too expensive to be lacking so much. And it seems like at this point, bro, the combat casts don't even feel real. Those feel pre-recorded. Because th th there is no way y'all going to tell me y'all didn't cut off the comments. You didn't done all this shit. You're doing all the damage control possible that you can. But yet this game is oh so great. It makes no sense. If the game was oh so great, you wouldn't feel the need to do damage control. If the game wasn't a, a quick cash grab, you wouldn't be in there trying to sell us fatalities that aren't even truly good. If this game was where it needed to be, you wouldn't be selling $10 voices. That's ridiculous. So in this situation, in this situation, it, it, you can blame both. You can blame both. But more fault falls on other Realm Studios for not giving out a good product versus the product being overpriced. I think people would look past and not even say look past, but I think people would be a little bit more forgiving, though they would still be pissed and rightfully so. They would be a little bit more forgiving of the prices or just not buy or just not buy the microtransactions if the game was actually good. But the problem at the end of the day is that Mortal Kombat 1 is simply not a good game. Yet another competitive player echoing the sentiments of one rage game. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Uh, what y'all think about this tweet from Get Wrecked, yo? As long as y'all are respectful and logical, we can have a conversation, but that's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure making it for you, and Rage King will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.